Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general messages, so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. Gonna look at how your person feels about you, how they view the relationship, what their next move would be, and looking at the aspect that you bring to the table as well. So let's see, what's the energy of this connection? What's the energy of this connection for Leo? The energy of the connection. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, the devil. Some of you are dealing with a. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. We've got an offer. We've got an apology coming your way from someone. But you might reject it for a cups. Or it could be an apology from someone who once rejected you. But for some of you, this person is quite... It might be a toxic situation. One that was quite toxic or had some downsides to it. What's this person's energy towards Leo? What's their energy? Okay. Things may have been at a standstill with this person. They may have been in the background for a while. My goodness, please. Too many cards at once. They may have been in the background for a while. But this person, they do still feel a strong connection with you. They just haven't made a move. What's Leo's energy towards this person? Towards their person? What's Leo's energy towards their person? Hmm. Yeah, this could have been someone you shut out because it could be because of their toxic energy, their behaviors towards you. So your energy towards them is like go away. But like they've been, they were waiting in the background for you, this person. What went on in the recent past with Leo and their connection? Things may have changed. Things may have changed and some of you may have realized certain things about this person or secrets with the moon could be a uh, Pisces or Cancer or Capricorn here with the devil. But things may have changed with this person. We have the tower here, so it could have been a sudden change where you realize that they were that they had deep deeper issues with this moon card here. Let me get some more insight for you. Okay. Give me insight for Leo and their relationship. Insight about Leo and their relationship. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love, healing hearts, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So some of you may have recently freed yourself from this person, but they seem to make to be making a comeback. They seem to have this apology with this page of cups. We have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprising. No surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So again, with that change, something in the recent past changed in this relationship very suddenly. Cassettes, old, sorry, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over, over in your head. So some of you do have bad memories of the past with this person. There may have been a sudden change of heartbreak, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Some of you are dealing with, or we're dealing with the, the healing of this situation, having to heal from it when this person may probably suddenly left. 
But let me look at your person in depth and see what's really going on with them. Okay. This is what's going on with this person? Her energy towards Leo. How they're feeling about Leo. How do they view the relationship? I don't know why this shuffle just keeps getting stuck. I think the cards are getting old. <laughs> All right. Tell me about Leo's person. The in-depth reading for this person. The tower again. Something, something shocking happened here. There's this major change. Betrayal, Ten of Swords. All right. I just, I just knew this person wanted to come back. Like all of this up here indicates that they are making a comeback here. I feel that strongly because I feel like they, their feelings for you, they believe it is spiritual, soulmate type. And even though they may carry some toxic energy, it doesn't make them, them a bad person. The devil came up, but it's like people who carry the devil energy, the toxic energy, it's not that they are 100% a narcissist or anything like that. It could also indicate them having childhood issues, abandonment issues, Fear of rejection, you know, and that can make them want to control the person they're with because they fear the person might leave. They fear they're going to feel the, the abandonment again. So that can, can be considered. Wow, I'm shaking the camera. That can be considered um, toxic as well. But those types of people, they're just afraid of losing the thing that they feel is the only good thing they have in their life so if they feel you are the only good thing they may have had toxic behavior um trying to keep you in their life which may have pushed you away and just made the abandonment happen anyways but you could be dealing with a gemini there's cancer energy as well but clearly they they view the relationship as the ace of cups they feel like there should be a whole new chance they feel like there's, there's an overflowing of love in this connection and that it should be. They are seeing you as a knight of cups. So this could be them feeling like you might be open to their offer, but they feel like their feelings, their feelings towards you, they just feel like that should be enough or it should, it gives them enough reason to wanna hold on because they have a fear See, there's a fear of abandonment, the fear of letting go. This this cassette thing goes for them. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying, replaying events over in their head. So this person is not letting go of the past. They have a fear of letting go. They hoard their feelings. They wish to work on the connection. They wish to work on the relationship. Eight of Pentacles. And we have the chariot and the king of wands. So some of you may have a new person in your life that could be blocking this person from getting to you. So you could have a new man or woman in your life. Um, this person does want to move forward with the chariot, but they don't really know um, how it's going to work. They just know that they want to move forward with you. However, there seems to be a person for some of you who is blocking this person from coming back into your life. Their next move is the Will of Fortune. They do plan to make positive changes. They seem to be working on themselves. But in the position of what you need to know is the lovers. We also have the world. So it's like some of you, this, this person, they could have been with someone while in separation with you or they there could have been cheating in the past. For some of you, this could just be speaking of the strong connection that you guys have, the soulmate type of connection. 
but the world is the outcome we have the eight of wands as well so this person is going to be reaching out to you eight of wands but some of you might be putting it to an end some of you might choose this person but i doubt it let me look at your energy towards this situation i have the world squeakiest chair What's the energy towards this person? How does Leo feel about this person? What will their next move be? What's Leo's energy towards this person? definitely on a break you are thinking about this but you're taking a break from it you're recharging here definitely recharging there's a lot of people on your side leo oh my goodness you you also have the king of wands blocking you both have this king of wands blocking here You've got the nine of pentacles you're feeling single you're feeling like you're doing you at the moment even if you do have someone new in your life you it could be just feeling abundant feeling like you have everything you need here but again cancer energy you have fellow leo coming in but i see that you you see this person as the queen of swords for some of you they could have left you in the past and if they did it definitely has to do with their abandonment issues they may have left you out of fear that you were going to leave them so you feel like they cut you off you're seeing the relationship as the magician you do feel like this was a, a really good connection however you just had to separate yourself and be kind of take a break from it all because this person their toxic energy may have caused you pain so your fear is a chariot. You kind of, you're kind of hesitant to move forward with this person. Your wishes is the Queen of Wands. Some of you are killing it right now, doing you, working, making your money, working on having a good Christmas. Really busy. The Queen of Wands is really busy. Some of you are too busy to care about this situation or to put more energy into it. The center is the Knight of Swords. Some of you are really. Really going with the hustle and bustle is what I'm seeing. Like you're really busy just going forward into a new year. Trying to, I'm hearing you're trying to go into the new year as a boss and not leaving any stones unturned. We have the king of pentacles as your out, not the outcome, sorry. Your next move. So you plan to really stabilize yourself, really make yourself feel stable, um, secure. Some of you may have someone in mind that you want to be with and have a secure and stable relationship with. In the position of what you need to know is the sun. So you have a lot of positive energy going for you. I see your overall energy just being positive and being abundant, but your outcome is a five of swords, dude. There, what is that noise? There might be some conflict. And I feel for some of you, it's like if this person comes forward, you might not be happy or you might want to argue. But I do see for a lot of you with the Five of Swords, you're taking back your power from this person. So they may have drained you. But now it's like you're taking back your power from them and just moving forward. If there is you giving them a chance, for some of you, I don't feel like it's going to be in December. We have very soon clearly clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now i'm requiting love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so there's something that's lacking in the relationship for you like you want you're wanting more and this person couldn't give you you have children your love life is being affected by children this could indicate their childhood issues that are affecting the relationship their inner child getting to know each other as you reveal 
as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So again, I do feel like this whole relationship has been affected by this person's childhood issues. However, it does seem like a soulmate connection. And you might, like if you do eventually give them a chance to speak, you might hear the truth. They might open up to you about what went on in their childhood. Pain that they're still dealing with. Because, you know, they, they do have a fear of expressing these things. They do have a fear of letting this all out. So they kind of carry it around. But it will take for them to open up to you for you to give them a chance. So maybe I feel like after you, you reject them and reject them. <laughs> like after you move on with yourself and just focus on you. They'll eventually feel like they have no choice but to tell you. Because I do feel like this person just feels this is a connection they don't want to let go of so eventually i feel like if they really have to they will open up if they feel like they have no other choice we have it's up to you meditation brings answers recovery and if you believe so yep you're definitely focusing on healing it's really up to you if this relationship works or not but meditate on it and see what you get. Let me see something real quick. Because I need to know about this King of Wands, which is here twice and is now showing up at, in the center of this deck. Why is the King of Wands blocking Leo? Why is the King of Wands blocking the situation? Why the King of Wands? You need to make a decision. So some of you may have another option that you're trying to choose. You're trying to choose between this person and someone else. Some of you, not all of you. Why is the King of Wands blocking the person that Leo is connecting with? Justice. Could be a Libra for some of you. King of Cups. There might be another man or woman in your life that is blocking this person. And then you are juggling the new person, the current person, and this person over here. Um, and it's a lot for you and you don't want to do it. And you, If this doesn't resonate, just ignore it. But if you do have more than one person, you don't really want to have this decision to make. I feel like you might love these two equally. And it's a burden for you to have to choose. But in time, you'll see who, who is the real soulmate. Okay, I feel like it will be the one who reveals their innermost selves to you and deepens the bond. So Leo, this is what I'm seeing for you. Check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. I hope this was helpful for you. Leave a like if it was. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.